This recording will show you an application of metric multiplication. Best ice cream sells three types of ice cream non fat, regular, and super creamy at three locations. Location A sells 50 liters of non fat, 100 liters of regular, and 30 liters of super creamy each day. Location B sells 10 liters of non fat and location C sells 60 liters of non fat each day. Daily sales of regular ice cream are 90 liters for location B and 120 liters in location C. At location B, 50 liters of super creamy are sold each day and 40 liters of super creamy are sold each day at location C. The incomes per liters of non fat regular and super creamy are $12, $10, and $15 respectively. Part A. Write a 1 by 3 metric displaying the incomes per liter of non-fat, regular, and super creamy ice cream. Let's try the answer part A first. This we will look at the information here. The income per liter of non fat, regular, and creamy ice cream are $12, 10 and $15. So you can write this as a 1 by 3 metric in this way $12 for non fat, $10 for regular, and $15 for creamy. So this is the income per liter for non fat, regular, super creamy. Now let's look at part B. Based on your metric in part 1, write a 3 by 3 metric of the sales figure for the 3 location to find a metric for that, that gives the daily incomes at each of the three locations. How do we do that? So we have to look at the information again. This will be a 3 by 3 metric and the metric will be based on location. So I go and look at location A, B and C and the sales of different type of ice cream for non-fat, regular, and super creamy. Now we know location A sells 50 liters of non fat, 100 liters of regular, and 30 liters of super creamy. So we can put this information into the metric 50, 100, and 30. Then, you also have more information. Location B sell 10 liters of non-fat and 60 liters of non-fat in location C each day. So we can put down the information. Location B sell 10 liters of non-fat and location C sell 60 liters of non fat. And daily sales from for regular ice cream are 90 liters for location B, 120 liters for location C. So we can put down this information into our metric as 90 liters of regular in location B, 120 liters in location C for regular. And then for super creamy, we also have 50 liters in location B and 40 liters of super creamy in location C. So we write down in the metric 
50 liters of superchemy in location B and 40 liters of superchemy in location C. So this is the sales metric of different type of ice cream at different location. Let's call this S here. Now then how do we answer the next part? We have a really answer 3 by 3 metric for the sales figure. We're gonna find a metric product that gives the daily incomes or at each of the location. So how do we find that? So we can use this calculation the income per liter we have just now twelve dollar ten dollar and fifteen dollar twelve dollar is for non fat per liter and ten dollar for regular and fifteen dollar for super creamy so multiply with the metric of sales we have fifty then 60, 100, 90, 120, 30, 50, 40. This is the metric of sales for different location A, B, and C for different type of ice cream. So now you multiply them, you'll find this metric is equal to after multiplying you get 2050 which is equal to 12 times 50 plus 10 times 100 plus 15 times 30 then 1770 and 2520 because we are multiplying a 1 by 3 metric to a 3 by 3 metric you should get a 1 by 3 metric and what this metric represent? this metric represent a total sales in location A, B, C 2050 is a total sales in location A 1770 is a total sales in location B, 2520 is a total sales in location C. And the last part. What the last part we're looking for is what is the total daily income from all three locations? So the answer is summing up all the sales in each location. So total sales from all location now will be adding up the sales from location A which we have 2050 total sales from location B 1770 and total sales from location C is 2520 and this will give you 6340 that finish answering the question.